didn't look very safe. I'm a namaste guys, Christian Long, Life Enhancement Consulting, giving you a big and beautiful shout out on this Thursday evening here in Denver, Colorado. Um, it is like full circle. Denver, Colorado, my old stomping grounds over the past eight years and uh, on my 31 day journey coming from Calspell, Montana, then going to Boise and then doing a huge loop of about 4,600 miles landing me here in Denver, Colorado. I'm actually uh, getting some wine for a friend who um, likes, what kind is it? I'm not a big wine drinker, but I'm always willing to learn. Uh, Pinot Grigio, northern, uh, northern Italy, more minerally flavor, whatever that means. So um, just a, a way of saying thank you to two friends that put me up for a couple days. And uh, I'm on Broadway. What? What? And it's super interesting because this is Broadway, one of the busiest, loudest streets um, in Denver. And it's my old stomping grounds. This wine place, it's a really, it's an upscale, educated wine place that I used to come to with my ex all the time. I mean, all the time, meaning like once every couple months when she was in the mood for wine. And, um, and my body is exhausted. I got back into town last night after getting stuck in traffic. Um, I really did choose the loudest uh, part of town to do this, right? So I was driving six hours from Telluride, Colorado to Lakewood, Colorado, and Lakewood and Denver right next to each other. And it said six hours. But then they said uh, signs along the highway, uh, delay, don't forget there's gonna be a delay, don't forget there's a closure. And I was like, what are they talking about? We're in the middle of nowhere. Literally in the middle of nowhere, how could there be a delay? Well, surprise, surprise, um, there was a construction project where they were blowing up a mountain and they were cleaning up the debris of that mountain. And so we had to wait at least an hour to go from one point to another point. It was standstill traffic in the middle of nowhere. It was really bizarre, actually. I was like, all right, well, maybe I can take another road. There's no other road to take to go from Telluride back to Denver. So we just had to suck it up, but ended up driving about seven hours last night, got back in exhausted, and then I got up early to uh, gratefully lead a meditation with the former group that we started uh, a year ago and then did healing clients had lunch with a friend or friends at a new place it was great um, but I, my body was so tired and then I did another lecture this evening and then afterwards my body was so tired it was so tired it couldn't even go out and get food you ever been in one of those kind of situations you're so tired you can't even eat and I was like in that situation but I was like my body's gotta get something something nutritious something hot so I went out and had pho and pho is one of my favorite favorite things pho is one of my favorite things in the world to eat and um, so driving I, I took like the longest possible way you could possibly take to get from point A to point B uh, I think GPS is lying to me today and then uh, so I had pho and then I came to the wine place here on Broadway and uh, as I was driving here I almost got into two accidents I was driving on the wrong side of the road not because I was distracted not because I was on my phone not because I was going a detour going around traffic I was driving on the wrong side of the road because I was falling asleep and I remembered, hey, I gotta jump on and do the live stream because I committed to doing that every single day for the month of May. You know the weird thing is, I have not heard this much traffic so aggressively at any time in history on Broadway. It's so weird. It's like this pocket, everyone's like, time to tear it up, time to be super loud. Um, but, I'm gonna head back to the crib, say goodbye to my friends because they are leaving. Andrew, I'm gonna say they are leaving to go to uh, 
uh, Charlotte, North Carolina tomorrow morning. So they're leaving at like 530 in the morning. And I'll just be staying in the area for the next uh, three days until I fly out around 530 in the morning on Monday. But um, it's weird. It's weird coming back to Denver because when I left Denver, everyone was still locked down and wearing masks. And now that I'm back here, there are a couple people wearing masks, but the bars are the bars are open again, the clubs are open again, the restaurants are open again, and most people don't even have their mask on. And in some places, the workers don't even have their mask on. So, um, yeah, it's just weird. It's surreal, you know. Uh, it's like coming home to a place that you are a different person. You know, like when you were growing up as a kid and your house was everything, it's where you made your first friends, it's when you went to school, you know, you come back from school, you clean out the fridge, it's where you had your chores, it's where you had your arguments, it's maybe where you had your first kiss or your first experience was home, right? And then you leave home, you get a job in another city, another state, you go to school in another city, another state. Um, you, you leave the place that you anchored yourself, right? And then when you come back, it's like, it's different. It's still home, right? Your parents are probably still there, but it just doesn't have the same feeling. It's different. So it's kind of like that. It's like, this was my home for eight years. And I know like every nook and cranny pretty much, but then coming back here, it's like foreign to me almost, you know? Um, I'll have to journal more about it to gain more awareness and understanding, but... I want to jump on, send some love to you guys. I hope you're having a beautiful Thursday night. I hope you're enjoying the remaining energies of the full moon of Gemini. It's so loud, it's bizarre. It's really, really bizarre. Because I don't hear people grinding their engines here and I don't hear them grinding their engines further down. It's just within this like 100 yards that everyone has to grind it out. <laughs> grind it out. Oh, so wish me luck back to the place may I be blessed by may I be blessed guided and protected by God the great ones my teacher my higher soul and I was looking for a smoothie place couldn't find one I couldn't find one that was open of what I wanted and Whole Foods closed too early so oh Whole Foods I love you so much you've given so much and asked for so little except entire paychecks. Um, but that's it. So lots of love to you guys. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. I will catch you tomorrow being fully rested, ready to go. I have a full day of errands I have to run in town before I head out of town yet again. And uh, looking forward to the next chapter. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. This is Christian Long, Life Enhancement Consultant. Wishing you a beautiful day, a beautiful week, and a beautiful life. Atma. Namaste. Bye-bye.